Australian dollar. And then you're gonna line it up and push it into the cuticle area. Hold it down for about five to 10 seconds. And then flip the hand upside down. And then I'm going to do a very thin coat of our clear acrylic on the inside. And this is just gonna make the nail rock hard so that when she's out, you know, roping horses and everything like that, these bad boys won't go anywhere. Now you're gonna have the baby in Tucson or in Phoenix? In Phoenix. So your mom's gonna go out there by the end of October and everything? She does, she moved out to Phoenix? Oh, I didn't know that. Well, at least you're never gonna go hungry. <laughs> but that's good though. Do you like living with your mom? After being like independent for so long? I mean... It's very sex in the city, this conversation. <laughs> You've always been super independent. She's a baby. Especially with like a baby. Yeah. Because I think it's really important after you have a baby to be able to give yourself time after too. Because I think that it could be especially like so overwhelming. So it's good for you to like, you know, at least take maybe like go to the movies by yourself or go out to eat or whatever. Just for you to like, I need to breathe. Yeah. A lot. How long did they last? Anywhere from 14 to 21 days. So we did a marble design. So now I have to kind of figure out which two fingers we should do marble because I wanted to alternate it. So I was thinking the ring finger and the thumb. What do you think? Yeah. Because the thumb will look because it's so big, it'll give us a lot of room for us to do the marble design. So we're gonna start off by really buffing the top surface of the nail really well because this chrome finish is not like a regular chrome pigment. It's actually a film. So it's kind of like a cellophane that goes on the nail. And if you don't buff the surface of the nail really well, it will make the gel bubble up and peel. So really take your time to remove that surface shine. Because postpartum depression is not fun. Gonna call me and be like Max. Do you know anybody that sells uh, what are they called? Max Pro. Oh. <laughs> and a lot of people take that too. It's really common. Whoops. I guess the pinky it is then. Let's take a look. Mm, not really. Do you want to do the pinky or do you want to do the thumb? I think the thumb would look really cool. Let's do the thumb. I got powder done it yesterday, Max. How do you get it to glow? You charge it up like you would with any um, glow in the dark. Happy Labor Day. Yeah, so charge it up under a lamp for uh, 60 seconds at least. And then when you go into a dark room, you'll really see her glow like cray cray. Are you gonna do like a Halloween themed uh, bridal shower? I mean bridal, uh, baby shower? Yeah. You should do something Halloween themed. Adeline? Really? Okay. But that'd be kind of cool if you did something for Halloween. There we go. So now we're going to remove the dust. And then on our tiara palette, we're going to clean this one off. And then I'm going to use a variety of colors for the marble design, okay? Lots of nudes, lots of pinks, lot, and a little bit of gold, something very boho chic. So we're gonna start off with white.
What time are you going to be here tomorrow, Mr. Roundface? We're going to get a haircut? Wow. Get an all sharp for the weekend. Boom. Oh, you go to a gentleman barber? By a lady. Who's your barber? Alex. Your homie Alex. Do a little bit of bones. And then I'm going to use La Dida 105. And let's add some drops. All these beautiful nudes and pinks and very chic fantasies. Whose idea was it to do Boho Chic? Yours? I was teasing her. I was like, are you going to have a mimosa too for your, uh, your brunch? And she's like, and next is BB39, this really pretty warm beige. This is BB39, beautiful new. And then we're going to take a liner brush. I'm going to use. To pick up the art, uh, design, the marble design, we're going to use a cat-shaped tongue one from the light pink tool brush brush set. And then I'm going to use the light pink one from the vegan four pack. And you're just going to really gently swirl the colors. Don't overdo it. I know we want to, but when you over swirl the colors, they get muddy and then it doesn't look good. Okay. And now let's pick them up. We're going to scoop. Angle the nail down. the brush, pick up our second bead of color, no my mom's not here, I don't think so. Yeah, my mom doesn't come to the office as much as she used to because uh, she takes care of my dad a lot now. And that is in itself a, a full-time job. But she was here for like a little while today. I'm just going to freeze this for like five seconds. So that way it doesn't move while we do the thumb. Connor is here! He said late to the party, but at least not pregnant because Ever is pregnant and we're doing her nails for her baby shower today. You can check it out now, love. And now we're gonna do the thumb. Isn't that beautiful? Reminds me a little bit of Sedona too. Do you like Sedona? Really? That's like a big thing for a lot of like Phoenix people hunt to go there for the weekend. And the Sedona, it snows, doesn't it? I just thought Sedona was really boring when I went there. Because there's nothing to do. I'm not gonna go hiking. Here, it's me, Amber. And the food is not good, I don't, I think. What's that? Oh, that church scares me because it's the church of all the faiths, so that church is, I don't know, I don't know. Look how pretty that is. So we're gonna bake these for a hundred seconds just to make sure everything is really dry in between. The base, this is the party nail and it's applied with acrylic so it will last for about 14 days. And then you completely remove them and then do a new new design after when it grows out. I don't recommend filling the party nails. The one, two, three go nails you can um, definitely fill, but the party nails I would not fill personally. 
Yes, we're dropping Racer Clear tomorrow, which is our fast dry clear acrylic. Because you guys know I love working fast. And the name Racer came from Speed Racer. What do you have on your nails, Max? They always look so pretty, like a really pretty light pink color. I wear um, pink press on gel or a pink number one. And Connor said, love, love, love. I love them too. Just can't go wrong. It's so chic, so elegant. Ready for Bojangles. That's where we can have the party at. Yeah. Can you imagine if it was a Bojangle? I see me. The whole front of Bojangles, Dodge Rams with spinners. <laughs> and big old, like, Costco sized uh, Yeleras. How do you say Yelera in English? An ice chest. The Costco ones, the big white ones. No Yetis. No, you gotta buy the Costco brand. <laughs> Generic. Connor said, haha, what is, Bo what is Bojangles? He actually wants to come on the video. Do you want to say hi to him, Amber? Okay, let's add Mr. Connor there. And he speaks to you directly. Because <laughs> Amber was the queen of Bojangles for a good little while. You can take it out now, my love. I want to check it, make sure it's dry. Okay, go ahead and just do your thumb for me. There you go. Bojangles is a church, said Natalie. <laughs> Are you from Tucson? Have you been to the Bojays? Jingling at the dangles, as they like to call it sometimes, kids. I personally have not been to Bojangles, but my brother has. She really wants to ask you on camera. Connor Kennedy wants to ask you. She says in Florida, it's a that I've been on too. And she was like, wow, he has a really nice body. And I was like, I told him he looks like an American gladiator. I was like, maybe I should work out too. But then I think about it, I'm like, eh. Yeah, but yeah. When the photo yeah. So rub coconut oil over her naked body. <laughs> coconut oil on it. <laughs> the odds that you need to make it. You need the autumn blush, the autumn contour. Just break dark right here. Naturally <laughs> <laughs> contour. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's an inside joke. I'm gonna get that. Me and Sweat do not agree. No, it's still pretty hot here. It's like, what? Yeah, like, people are like, are you excited for um, autumn? And I'm like, we don't have autumn where I live. Like, we can barbecue on Christmas. It's pretty hot still. Like, our Christmas is like 90 degrees. Yeah, the more kind of so yeah. That was gonna, wow, that escalated quickly. What did? We de-escalated the situation. <laughs> look at that. This is gonna look so pretty. I want to see the picture. You gotta share it. You have to pay for her OnlyFans to see those pictures. No, not the OnlyFans. <laughs> what, what's your OnlyFans, Amber? And then she'll link her OnlyFans. I should open up an OnlyFans because I sent um, one of my friends, well, two. I was sending them like shirtless pictures of me because now that I started working out, they're like, wow, you're kind of hot. And I was like, wow, hot? Amber's like, Max, you have a V-line. And I was like, no, Amber has a V-line. <sighs> well, Prager bellies. She's like, I need to move there. I don't like the cold. Arizona's gonna be the perfect place for you, then, my love. Because it's hot as Hades here. But how long did these nails take to do? Like, five minutes? Maybe. Yeah, super fast and easy. My open to the max is a cutie. No, Amber's the cutie. What? Well, I am far away. And if you're yeah. drunk, so yes. And long lasting. Cool beans, I see that too. LOL, you're a trip. So, before we log off, do you have any other questions, Mr. Connor? Um, this might be your only chance on a live stream to ask questions to somebody like Amber. You could ask her about like what it's like 
being a Playboy model, being a Playboy model and pregnant, seeing a client of the Yes, what it's like, you know, to be like objectified by so many men, Amber, especially like in your position. Like, you have, have you ever seen Love Potion number nine? You've never, it's an old movie, and there's this scene where the girl's like running away from like a sea of men that are just almost like that's Amber every day. That's her cardio. My, okay, my last question. I think you said it before, but your zodiac sign and Amber's. Chinese zodiac or uh, Western zodiac? Like, okay. She's a vir- she's a virgin like Madonna. Virgo, and you are? Um, it's against my religion. <laughs> oh, well, that's what you said. Uh, I don't believe in astrology. It's against my religion. Right. But can you guess? Then uh, uh, cancer. No. Okay. No. I'm in June. Yes, so I'm a Gemini actually. He's a water. No, uh, air. Isn't Aquarius water? No, it's the water bearer. Oh, Pisces is the fish. Yeah. The blonde well, one. You're air too. Air size are Gemini. You're in Aquarius. I am not a fan of Western astrology, but I do believe in like the Chinese zodiac. Like, yeah. what they told me was like pretty gnarly. Um, I am a rabbit. What are you, Amber? A dragon. Or a tiger. I don't know. There's a lion in China. Lions are from Africa, dear. It's there's a rat, snake. I'll find out right now. What is it? We're not even going to that Afina. What year were you born? So let's look up Amber's uh, zodiac really quickly. 1982 Chinese zodiac. Man, this feels really random. Yeah. What's going, what's going on with um? Weren't you like buying a house? You're a dog. Wolf. Raviosa. What, uh, what was the question? Something about a house. Yeah, weren't you looking to buy a house? Yes, but um, the inventory selection in my town is really limited. And... Um,